Recording 3.1. Three more coffees, please, Sam. Coming right up. Did you hear what happened at the parking lot near here yesterday? No, what? Apparently, a woman had been shopping, and when she went back to the parking lot, she saw four men in her car. So, she took a gun out of her purse and threatened to shoot them. Whoa, what did they do? Well, they got out of the car and just ran away. But then, get this... When the woman got into the car, she realized it wasn't hers. Her car looked identical, but it was parked nearby. So what happened next? Well, of course, she was horrified at what she'd done, so she went to the police department to explain. Well, that's something, I guess. <laughs> yes, and when she arrived, the four men were there, complaining about this crazy woman who threatened to shoot them. So she hasn't been charged with anything? No, no one was hurt, and she had a license for the gun. But if the woman had shot the man, she'd have been in serious trouble. That's ridiculous. If the man hadn't run away, she could have killed them. Yes, but no one was hurt. That's really not the point. The point is, there were just too many people carrying guns these days. Here you go. Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. That reminds me... Uh... A guy in our street was arrested recently for shooting the tires of a car which was parked outside his house just, uh, well, just because the alarm kept going off at night. He was charged with vandalism, lost his gun license, and had to pay a fine. I have to say, I wouldn't have been too happy if the alarm had woken me up. Mm. Those car alarms drive you crazy going off night after night. Sure, but you wouldn't have shot the tires. Of course not, no. If it had been me, I might have left a note on the car or something. Oh, what would the owner of the car have done if he'd seen him? I mean, the guy with the gun was seriously angry. Yeah, well, we'll never know. So what sentence would you have given him? Well, a lot more than just a fine and losing his gun license, that's for sure. He's a danger to society. I mean, I think we've got to do something about all this. All this violence. There were uh, about 450,000 violent crimes involving guns in this country last year. We've, I mean, we've got to do something.